Stop the presses, stop the presses, stop the presses. Now, you may call this a hot take. Um, you may disagree with me. Don't really care. Steph Curry is one of my favorite players of all time. Been watching him since I was a kid. I'm going to be honest, man. He's one of the best to ever do it, okay? He is flat out an assassin. Coming into that game, he played magnificent. Man, I mean, Warriors back up against the wall, right? They're struggling. Um, they lose game six at home. Kings give it to him, and he come out in this game and drop a 50-piece? A 50-piece for the most ever in a game seven. Ever. Ever. With their back against the wall. Curry didn't get no help in this game, and I'm going to talk about that in my other video, but I just want to give credit what credit is due with Steph Curry first and foremost before I talk about the game, break down, get my analysis on all that. But Steph Curry is one of the best to ever do it. For him to go in there with little to no help, I got to shout out Kevon Looney. Kevon Looney came a big double-double. His third 20-rebound uh, uh, game in this series, he played great. But for Steph Curry to hit them shots, shots after shots, it was so bad. At one point, the, the, the Kings had to double-team him, and they were trapping him, bringing it up the court, right? Now, you know that Curry is their best player. He's still getting trapped. He's still making buckets. He was still converting in the lane. And what I love about his game and what he's changed over the last couple of seasons is he's willing, when his shot is not falling, to go in the paint against the bigs, right? He's not afraid to use his body. He's not afraid to, to finish with the left or the right. It does not even matter. They're not afraid to do uh, reverse layups. Steph Curry is him, and more people need to put respect on it. For him to go and do that against a very hungry Sacramento Kings team that looked like they had an the advantage in this series, right? For them to go on the road and get two world victories, the worst road team in the NBA, and for him to drop that kind of performance in a hostile crowd, a team looking to win their first series since 2004, that says a lot about Curry, man. I mean, he was hitting everything. 20 for 38, efficient shooting, over 50%. Um, shot great from three, shot knocked down seven uh, threes. Steph Curry, just a different breed, man. You got to give you gotta give him his credit. And I'm going to talk about the game in a second, but Steph Curry is him, regardless of what happens against the Warriors and Lakers series. Get that man his due, his due diligence. Get that man his respect. Steph Curry is a different breed. Okay? Flat out. And, man, like I said, he's one of my favorite players ever. What he's done in the past couple of seasons and what he continues to do and, and show out just goes to show. It's just a testament of who Steph Curry is, man. He's a different breed, man. So, when to get props where props is due. Look out for, uh, in the next series. I think that's going to be the most exciting series in the second round, Warriors and Lakers. I can't wait to see the shot making and how that looks in the second round. I'm going to break down analysis of the game more, but Steph Curry's him. He's top 10 for me all time. Um, he's moving up. They go and they win a the title this year. I'm not saying they will, but if they do, I mean, hey, man, you might have to be making the conversation that he's moving up, maybe even, excuse me, into top five, five championships. And the last season, he carried the Warriors to a championship ring. And it looks like he's doing the same again this season. So Steph Curry, one of the best to ever do it. One to give him his credit and his praise.